video and we are back to the Mustang. Uh, it's time to do a really easy peasy DIY job that you can do at home with just one simple tool and it's to replace this. This is the internal blower motor for your fans and mine started to make a really high pitched squealing noise and I knew it was on the way out because I've seen this before. Right, let me see if I can pick this up on camera. I can hear a little whistling coming from down here as I turn the fan up. Worse. You may not pick this up on camera, but it is whistling at a high pitch noise, it's enough to, to irritate you when you're driving, and that will just get progressively worse. So this is a really, really easy replacement to do. It's got one electrical connector there, and it's got three 8mm screws that go around the outside of it. And you can only put these in one way, the little kind of hole there at the end, this little bit here slot straight in underneath the passenger glove box and you can't really make a mistake with it so let's get this replaced i'll leave the link to the part description down below it's a rock auto part and it's a five minute job let's go right so your blower motor is underneath the passenger glove box the passenger side of the car underneath the glove box and there it is right there you can see one of the screws at the top there and it's right here that's the motor there's a screw there, there's one there, there's one around the other side and you also need to take off this electrical connector because it's not directly related to the motor it just stops it from getting in the way and coming down all the way so it does, it just gets in the way, sorry and there's one electrical connector to take off from the motor which is here we just pull that one out pull that out dump and then we get this one at the back here as well which there's another push fit one. There we are. And that one just pulls out. So it's just two connectors in mine, and then there's three screws, and that whole motor should just plop straight out. Let's take out the screws. Right, so for the three screws, it's a wee 8mm socket, no problem. Just reach up with a ratchet, and on you go. Yeah, hard with one hand. There we go. And then once you've got all three screws out, the whole motor just comes out in a winner. There we are. And there's the hole I was talking about. So if your mower's making a noise, reach underneath the car and just put your finger over that wee hole. And if it goes away, you know it's the, the motor that's causing the noise and that's where it's coming from. But it is just air escaping from that. Now, could you cover that with a piece of tape or something? Probably. But my experience is that these will go not long after it starts to make that noise, so might as well replace it. There we go, there's the old one and the brand new one. I'll leave the part number below. Just make sure it's exactly the same. Same three fittings, same location for the wee vent bit there. And you're good to go. You plop that back in. There we go, you look underneath, you can see in the centre there, the little kind of oval shaped bit that goes into the vent. So you can't mess up the placement of this, it only can go in one way. There's a big hole for it to go in, so no problem. Hey, so there's one of the screws right there. And there's another one there, and there's one around the back side there. Once you've got those three in, you can just plug your connectors back in. Plug that one back in at the back. Oops. Chunky fingers, too much for it. And then this is the one for the power for the blower motor, which goes in there. Like that. Click. And that should be us good to go. All right, that's us installed it. Let's see. High pitch spilling has gone. And it has. You should just be able to hear now. Just the air coming through, fan not making any noise as I turn the fan up. Brilliant, and we'll just check all the 
vents here just to make sure there's one coming through there. Ah. Nothing but fresh air. Excellent, job done. Well, that's another successful job done. Very easy to do. Do not take it to a dealer for that job. Buy the part yourself and fit it. It literally takes five minutes and it's a doddle. It'll save you an absolute fortune at dealer prices. So, hit like, hit subscribe if you haven't seen my previous videos. The Corvette is complete. Who uses that word with a project? Do you ever complete a project? Probably not. Corvette's done. Go and see the last video, see what happened with the Corvette if you're interested in that, but we've got lots more to come on this Mustang. I've still got stripes to put on, I've still got an interior couple of switches to replace. Maybe do some stuff to the engine now, and I've got new wheels and tyres to put on it as well, new bullet style alloys, and we'll do a replacement brake light as well. So stay tuned for all that, hit like, hit subscribe, comment below, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you very much again, bye-bye.